All right, so the second big mistake that people will make is that they will start to design their PowerPoint slideshow first. They'll, they'll design their visual aids before they actually even figured out what they're gonna say. So if you've read any of my blog posts or if you've listened to any of the podcasts in the past, you'll know that I mentioned this particular thing a lot. This is what the absolute biggest mistake that, that almost everyone, myself included, will make on occasion, will commit this on, on occasion. So we start the preparation by creating the slideshow or other some other kind of visual aid, whatever visual aid that you're using. And this part of the preparation typically takes the longest to complete. So as a result, we we tend to want to start early so that we don't so that we don't lose time or we don't uh, we don't miss out on this part, right? So, but one of the things that I've kind of figured out is that you will save yourself a tremendous amount of time and a tremendous amount of stress if you figure out what you want to say first and then prepare your visual aids, get a really good, once you get that really good presentation, design those visual aids that will help you explain the content better or help you clarify the content. Um, I'll give you a good example. A few years ago, I was called in to help a team of engineers practice a, a group presentation to one of their big clients. And the vice president of the engineering firm, along with the head of the marketing department and and probably one or two other people, but they they made a PowerPoint deck for the entire group. So it's five speakers and, and typically two or three people were, were actually made this um, this slide deck. So they created the slide deck by receiving input from the other four presenters. And, and so the other four presenters actually gave them information and said, hey, you know, this is what I want to include in my slide deck. However, the four presenters weren't, they weren't really intricately involved in the creation process. So basically, I arrived in the meeting room to help coach this this group presentation, and the presenters were really confused. and And by the time I even got there, they were already kind of irritated at each other or irritated at the process because nobody really knew what each person was supposed to say or how they were supposed to say it or what specific slides meant. Uh, so they were basically what they were doing is they were trying to adapt what they wanted to say to what was on the screen. So the screen was already there, the, the slideshow was already there, and they're trying to say, okay, what can I say? about this particular slide. Well, so to, to be blunt, it was really, really, really boring, by the way. So the four speakers had, they had very little control over the slideshow, uh, the, the ones that had very little control of the slideshow. Anyway, they were they were just really nervous. So luckily, I'd seen this challenge before. So I mean, I'd, I'd seen this particular thing happen. So I had each one of the presenters just disregard the slideshow at the very beginning, just temporarily, and I had them redesign their actual speaking part. And then we spent an hour or so just recreating the speech from scratch. And it, it, which, by the way, was a whole lot less time than what the, the, the group had presented or had spent creating that slideshow. And so all total, th th that whole process took it less than a half a day, you know, maybe three hours at the most. And, and then as they got comfortable with that, that presentation, as they started delivering the speech without any visual aids, by the way, they were just doing it from the top of their head, they started feeling really much more comfortable. And then finally, as a la at the last, at the ending stage, we we redesigned the visual the visual aids to help each one of the presenters better explain the content that they had just created. It was much faster, much easier. Took less than a day to do the whole thing from start to finish. In fact, I would say probably it was more along the lines of four or five hours tops. And um, and then what was interesting was that when the, when we got to the visual aid part. A few of the presenters actually, a couple of, one of them anyway, chose to not do any visual aids whatsoever. Just wasn't applicable to the type of presentation that, that he was giving. And a couple of them decided to do things other than PowerPoint as their visual aids. So they used props and posters and stuff like that. And it, it just, it just turned out to be a much more interesting presentation because they created the presentation first and then created the, the visuals afterwards. So, so if, if you want to be more comfortable presenting in front of a group, design your presentation first, then figure out what visual aids that you want to use to help better explain that content.